What's up guys, I'm Michael. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Last week I did a video showing you all different ways that I would style Nike Dunks during the summertime. So in this video I figured I'd keep that trend going and I'm gonna be styling uh, Jordan 1s in this video. So just gonna have like four different outfits for you all just showing different ways that I style Jordan 1s this summer. So let's go ahead and get into it. Jumping on into the first outfit, I decided to keep it super simple. I uh, this is my Brazil jersey, just a regular Neymar soccer, soccer jersey with the national team. And with the pants, these are Levi jeans. I want to say they're 501, just to like loose fit or oversized Levi jeans. And with the shoes, like I said, this video is about Jordan 1, so I have on the Travis Scott Jordan 1s. And sometimes I like to have like uniform shoelaces or I just change it up since they come with different colors. I want to say it's like brown, off-white, and pink, or pink, off-white, and black. Something like that. I really don't remember, but here I have in the pink ones and the off-white shoelaces, off-white color shoelaces. And I just sometimes do that for a pop of color, but with that jersey, it really doesn't need the pop of color since that jersey is a huge, you know, a very neon yellowish color. But, you know, I just wanted to do it anyway with the pink and off-white color shoelace. And in regards to accessories, I have on a uh, bracelet, watch, necklaces, all those things just to spruce up the outfit because without it, and I know I say this a lot, but without it, I feel like it'll just look super simple and oh, just a jersey and jeans and some shoes. But when you wear the jewelry, it just kind of makes it look like, oh, you know, he's dressed very nice and is well put together. And you just, I don't know how to describe it, but just be sure to wear your accessories and jewelry to make the outfit look better. Moving on to the second outfit, I decided to wear a sweater vest, and I know I've spoken about sweater vests a lot, said so they're gonna be very popular and trendy, and I just love wearing my sweater vest because I have a couple of them, like five or six, but I really don't wear them that much, so that's why I try to wear them in the video, so it seems like I wear them more, but this is just a navy blue and white sweater vest that I got thrifted, and I've said it tons of times, it's best to get these kind of things thrifted, like button downs and sweater vests, and even some t-shirts, I guess, if you wanna get like a graphic tee, but Anyway, I just prefer thrifted sweater vests since they're so much cheaper, literally a fraction of the price, because this one would probably be like, you know, $30, $40. I don't even know how much they charge for sweater vests in actual stores, but just a regular navy blue and white sweater vest. And I decided to pair it with uh, pleated gray dress pants, just a very light gray colored dress pants. And with the shoes, these are the, I always forget the specific names of these shoes, but I want to say the blue UNC off-white Jordan 1s. And like I said, with the shoelaces, sometimes I have them uniform and sometimes I change it up. So this one, I decided to keep it very simple with the white shoelaces, but they came with the orange and blue shoelace, I wanna say. So I just decided to keep it really simple with the uh, all white and just keep it very uniform and plain. And just to kind of combine those different elements of uh, streetwear and dressy. So that's why I have the Jordans with the sweater vest and dress pants, you know, all those things just to kind of combine the two elements and it always looks so nice when people do that so that's why I just wanted to do it here with the Jordans. Now here in this third outfit this is a super simple and casual one just a regular graphic tee shorts and Jordans but I'll go in more detail on it this is a, a thrifted graphic tee from drugstore actually here in Atlanta great t-shirts you could get them from uh, $20 at the cheapest to some in the hundreds so always you know depending on your budget they always have something and with the shorts, these are just, I guess they're called the dry fit material. I'm really not sure what material this is. It's kind of like that swim trunk or athletic like material. So that's why I always just say dry fit, but I'm really not sure what it is, but just regular, regular Nike athletic shorts with five inch inseam. And with the shoes, these are the Chicago Jordan ones. And I just want to wear something plain with the Jordan since they're just red, black and white and a regular graphic tee regular shorts. I mean, you just can't go wrong with this outfit. Very simple. And that's why I feel like throwing on jewelry would just really help it. Because when it's super simple, the jewelry just, you know, says, oh, he's actually, you know, wearing this out and not was lounging around the house in this. So that's why I always just feel jewelry is best to wear, especially with these super chill ones like this, just to kind of give it that extra oomph or whatever to make it look better. And finally, I had to wear a button down in one of the outfits. And I I guess you call this a button down, a short sleeve button up, whatever you want to call it. This is a thrifted short sleeve button up from Goodwill, I want to say. They just have the best button down, short sleeve button up, sweater vest, whatever it may be. They just have, you know, tons of different options and they're literally super cheap. So that's why I have this uh, brown. 
I have no idea what kind of design you call that, but just a brown short sleeve button up. Under that, I have a white t-shirt tucked in, and these are gray chinos. I love wearing chinos just because they're super lightweight and easy to move around in. Great during the summertime too, especially since they're super lightweight. Better to wear than jeans, because I really don't wear jeans that much during the summertime. Or if I do, I know I'm not gonna be out that long, so that's why I will wear them that day. But if I know I'm gonna be out a long time, I will wear, you know, chinos, because they're just the better option in my opinion. And with, in regards to the shoes, these are the Panda Jordan 1s. I wanna say they're a women's shoe, and I just got them in my size, so I guess, I don't even know the math with the women's sizing, but they're pan the Panda Jordan 1s, and I just love it because the, I guess the shoe, the design on the shoe is feels like fur. And in regards to accessories, the same ones as all the other outfits, necklaces, watch, bracelet, you know, just all that to help the outfit look so much better. Jordans used to be some of my favorite shoes and I really just kind of pushed Jordans and Dunks to the side this summer. So I really feel like I should bring them back out and start wearing them a lot more because I've just been really focusing on the Birkenstocks and Converse and Stan Smiths and whatever else I've been wearing lately. So that's why I've just wanted to do these different outfits just to show different ways that I myself could style them. You know, Dunks and Jordans and Yeezys. I haven't done a video on that, but you know, just other shoes that I really haven't been wearing that much lately. So I hope you all enjoyed it and found some inspo from it. I know I've kind of inspired myself to start wearing them a bit more. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post on here twice a week and follow me on Instagram as well at Micah Aikens just so you can keep up with me and see everything that I'm doing, see what I'm wearing as well. And I'll see you all in the next video.